Hey, it's Chris Homestead Hardway. And uh, something we get a lot of questions about. A lot of questions this week. But we're right here side of the road, so there may be some traffic noise. I'm sorry, ain't nothing I do about it. But the big question is, can you make money raising pigs on a small scale? And you see a lot of YouTube videos, I make $1,000 pig, I made $50,000 raising pigs. And I'm going to be bluntly honest with you. We've been doing this my whole life. I've been raising pigs my whole life. I've raised them every way you can raise them. I've raised them commercially, hog houses, I've raised them on concrete, raised them on dirt. I've tried big pastures. I've tried every way it can be done. And I don't know if I'm an expert on it, but I've I've done it enough. I don't know a little bit. And it's took me years to make small scale backyard pigs profitable. It's took years to build a market. It's took years to build a market for my tops. It's took years to build a feeder pig market. And we have really good quality old style pigs old line pigs, heritage breed pigs. You know, the heritage breed pig thing is a lot of debate about it, but the truth is a heritage breed pig to me would be a, a three or four hundred year old breed of hogs that, you know, we've traditionally raised. Not some little mini fad thing that comes from some other country. Um, and these are the type hogs we have. So let's talk about the money. Just to be honest with you, most of these people putting up videos, they may not exactly be lying to you on purpose, but they can't figure. They don't understand profit, loss, cash flow, whether they're really making any money or not. These pigs here, just to be blunt honest with you, I'm going to sell them for $5 a pound, hanging weight, processed. And that means that I'm going to take in about $1,000 a piece, give or take a piece. Now, you got to take a uh, dollar a pound right off the bat for feet. And this year, doing the numbers this year, I'm not sure a dollar a pound is going to cover. Then you've got a dollar, dollar fifty in process. And these numbers will change depending on where you're at. In some places you may be able to get more than five dollars a pound for. In some places feed's gonna cost you more than a dollar a pound. So I can't tell you exactly what you're gonna make where you're at. But when I say a thousand dollars a pig, that's not a thousand dollars a pig profit best we can figure profit on them is somewhere in the $500 range, give or take. That, that can vary. All you have to do is blow a couple of tires on the trailer, take them to the processor. You got to figure in $3.50 a gallon of fuel. You got to figure in the cost of your pens. Labor? Well, you better off not even figure your labor. If you figure your labor, it gets so depressing you'll quit doing it. But it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. And you've got to have a good product to be able to sell it. You can't take whatever's free on Facebook or stuff like that and raise it and make it work. You've got to have a good product. Now, we sell a lot of feeder pigs. If you've got a good feeder pig and you have some pigs that are breeding quality and show quality, where you sell a show pig every once in a while for a decent price, or you sell breeding stock for a decent price, and then just let your meat pigs go, you know, the ones that don't make the cut, you can do okay with feeder pigs, but it all depends on what your price is in your area. If you can get $85 to $125 for a meat pig, you can do okay. If you can get $200 for a breeding quality pig, you can do okay. But if you're trying to sell them for $30 a piece, you're not accomplishing anything. And I can't remember what the old people used to say, but they used to be a way, there was a, a paragraph they had that kind of described it. The board didn't go bad. 
if all you sows got bred at the right time, price corn didn't go up, <coughs> you can make a little money on pigs. And that's still true. You can make money, but you lose your butt too. And if you're gonna raise pigs, first thing you need is a pig cooker, so if you get something you can't sell, you can barbecue them. But these old line pigs we have right here in demand, they're hard to get. They're a different type than the, the modern commercial pig. Totally different type. They don't even look like the same animal. There's as different as a Dotson and a Doberman. I mean, they're, they're just not the same animal. And there's a good market for them right now. Now, in the past, we've run into there not being a market at all. So my advice for anybody who's really trying to start raising pigs is yes, you can do it. But just understand, it's gonna take a while to build a market. You're gonna be limited by how many you can sell. There's a vacuum right now, so raising piglets, seven piglets is going okay. I've seen it do horrible. I've seen where you couldn't get rid of it. We can make good money. We can make that $100,000 that people say to make if we had enough market for tops where I could sell dressed processed pigs we might could do it but there's just not that big a market and selling cuts I have some customers buy pigs from me raise them sell cuts they're doing okay you know meat prices in the grocery store have got so high that we're back being competitive price wise and it's a better product the price usually puts people off but once they get the better pork or the better beef or the better chicken and they figure out just how much difference in quality there really is, you've got a customer. But you've got to get that customer. And I just hate to see how much how how badly misleading some of the stuff is, but they don't understand farm economics. So always remember, you may call it a homestead, you may call it a hobby farm, you may call it whatever you want to. I don't like the term hobby farmer. And I'm not sure I like the term homestead. But if you're raising pork to sell commercially, it makes you a farm. And farms have to cash flow. Nobody ever talks about cash flow. Cash flow is almost, if not more important, than profit. And we'll do another video and talk about cash flow and profit loss and stuff like that. But the best way I've ever heard it put, my daddy, my daddy told me this 40 years ago. He said, if you want to start something, see if you're making any money on it. He said, borrow the startup money from yourself. He said, borrow it from yourself, write it down, write down everything you spent, and you loaned it to yourself. Everything cost you loaned it to yourself. He said, pay yourself back. He said, as you start selling pivots or biddies or whatever, he said, start paying yourself back. He said, if you ain't made a dime, do you pay yourself back? He said, then after you get yourself paid back, which that's a good sign. If you paid yourself back, that's a really good sign. But after you paid yourself back, take all the money you make off it. Take all the money you make from selling pigs or all the money you make from selling tops or whatever and put it somewhere, cash money. And when you have to buy a feed, you have to buy a fence, you have to pay help, whatever you have to do, pay it out of that money. He said in the end of six months or a year, see if there's any money left in that job. That's the easiest way to do it. I mean, that's a foolproof way to see if you're making a profit or not. And with these pigs, we managed to pay a few bills of pig money and we managed to keep them fed as long as we keep cash flow. All it takes for us to lose cash flow is the boar not get a sale bread and not have a litter of pigs that much. We try to have a litter every month. We get about a hundred average hundred dollars piece for feeders. So average ten pigs for litter, average a hundred dollars. That's a hundred that's a thousand dollars a month. That's what's got to pay my feed bill and pay the help. That thousand dollars a month is not profit. Half of it right off the bat goes right back into feed and labor costs. So yes, you can do it. Yes, you can possibly make a profit but you're not gonna you're not gonna make a hundred thousand dollars a year off backyard pigs 
I don't know people with a co-op that ran 30 sales to make a thousand dollars a year profit. They don't even make 30. So just, I just want you to know that and bear that in mind. And I appreciate you watching. And I want you to remember you can do all this stuff. But you'll never apply a field or turn it over in your mind. So you'll never get it done sitting on the couch. You'll never get it done planning to do it. Start small. Start with as small of a monetary investment as you can. Try to start with a good livestock and start with some good information. And you've got a chance of making it. It is possible to make it profitable. But it takes dedication, it takes some hard work, and it takes the right information. And we've tried and tried and tried to tell people with everything, with, with pigs, with the produce, with the cows, with everything we can do to, to kind of give you an honest, real life viewpoint and not a fairy tale. And something that was brought to my attention recently that I never realized a lot of a lot of your homestead channels are fake. I never knew that. I didn't realize they were actually fake. I thought they were a little misleading maybe or uh, running it more as a, the, the YouTube channel was the business, not the farm. Well, here the farm's the business. The YouTube channel is a public service. So maybe I'll help you out some. I appreciate you watching, and we'll talk to you. Let's go around and see where the banging was coming from. Well, if you're still filming, show them just how far the pigs are from the house. Yeah. Everybody always asks about the smell and everything. We'll show them just how far the pigs are from the house. There. All the way around. There. See? Pigs. More pigs back there. All the way down. Pigs. House. But the feeder is what's making that banging sound the whole time he was talking. All right. Y'all have a great night. Thank you.